Kids Metro Parent Magazine features busy moms and my buddy Katrina Cravey and her son Billy grace the cover. I can't imagine a better cover. You guys it's look so sweet. cute. Yeah, sweet. Thanks, I love buddy. that. Well, moms seem to be juggling it all, but sometimes it's really hard work. That's a topic of discussion in this month's in this month with Metro Parent Magazine. That's right. Cover girl Katrina Cravey is here along with another one of our favorite moms, Julie Davidson. We also have Metro Parent Magazine editor in chief and mom Amy Schwabi. What's up, ladies? What's up? How are you? I Hi. love working moms, and what? we all work. We Even do. if we stay at home, we're right. working moms, oh, yeah. oh. right? And they're yeah. probably working harder, right? Exactly. Because sure. right. you don't get a break. You don't no, get to go to work. No, there's right. like, you don't get to take off between noon and one. I'm just going to leave the house. <laughs> right. You don't go you know? get to vacation at no. work. No. Great no. to no. see all of you. Tell us a little bit about this issue and why you think it's special. I have been wanting to do a day in the life of moms for years, just because whenever I talk to moms, they want to tell me, this is what I did today. This is, I think a lot of it is just saying, I'm busy and wanting to commiserate and mm -hmm. things like that. So I thought it would be great for Mother's Day type thing just to have moms talking about what they do during the day. Do you yeah. think people don't realize just how much moms struggle and just how busy we are as moms? I mean, moms do. Yeah. Moms know it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we all understand. <laughs> right. Yeah, it is. It's just a big juggling act. And we were talking, Julie and I were talking earlier, is a lot of times you just drop the ball. Right. And you yeah. got to be okay with like, hey, this is what just got dropped today. My house isn't as clean as it can be. In the article, you didn't even <laughs> realize that I was ashamed of what I what I fed <laughs> Billy during the cover shoot. Um, oh, he yeah. had Easy yeah. Mac and some shredded uh, wheat because I, I didn't have anything <laughs> else. That was like that's, that's high fine. eats at my was, house. I didn't know I was embarrassed because I'm like, that's what my kids. Oh. <laughs> that's that's what me. We eat that kind of like every day. <laughs> I, know, but it's that's it's how, I felt like I was like, oh, I should have. I don't know what I thought I should have had like a deli sandwich. I don't know what. I was thinking. Yeah, yes. but you know, it's a, it's a good point because I think as it relates to dropping the ball, I think so much of our time, um, if we think about how we're, we're momming, we, we're hard on ourselves yeah. and we don't think about the, the positive things we've done or, or take pride in some of the great yeah. ways our kids interact with other people. We're thinking about our house, like you said, Kat, how clean it is, what we're feeding our kids, what other people think of our kids. Are they involved in enough things? All that kind of stuff. I think we also yeah. compare to other moms, maybe people on TV. <laughs> and so, you know, yeah. like yourself or, you know, celebrities and we think, well, sure. they can do it. We can do it. No, we can't because we don't have people to no. do our hair and our makeup and, and work help. out for They've us. Got they have help and they're too. lying. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what's yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, and local celebrities in Milwaukee, we all do our own hair and our makeup and choose our outfits, which is an added source of stress right. that I think people don't. I remember once somebody saying when my kids were in preschool that it looked like I had it all together and I didn't feel like that, but I was like, that's what the image Don't I Don't look at there. our minivans, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right, I mean, because Amy looked, she looked at my, out of her minivan. No, it was disgusting. Totally I well, mean, like there's wrappers yeah. and things that are just, you know, loaded up. Smash, smash oh. candy somewhere. Uh, and the yeah. morning of the photo shoot too, I was like sitting in your driveway waiting for you and I was in my minivan, which is like my office, that I was just, right. that's what yeah. it was. Yeah, it's bad. And I feel for Julie too, because when you say when you get your kids home and about the math homework. Oh, mm -hmm. please don't have math, please don't have math. Please, please that don't have so math. so fun. Julie, how old oh, are your what kids? what time is dad coming home? Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have two boys, 13 and 14. That's about when the math started to like, it's like, okay. Right. Well, because I'm bad at math, that's how I have I'm kids. I'm bad at math, That's too. how I have kids that are yes. 16 well, and a half months apart because I'm bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> right, but oh. math is also different. I had to go into uh. my kid's third grade teacher and say, how are you teaching multiplication and division yeah. because they do it different? What yeah. was wrong with the other way? It was what? fine, and then they changed exactly. it. Now yeah. there's arrows and pictures. They just wanted to make us feel worse about it. They wanted to make it so exactly. we can't help them. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Lots of tears. You know. Lots of tears. But thankfully, we do have our husbands yeah, when it comes to that because you do have to break it up. I think everybody needs to... When you have particular strengths in the family, right. go to that person for that help. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So what do you guys think is one of the, some of the most challenging things you face as a day-to-day -day mom? You know Just, what? I would say taking care of ourselves, like yeah. doing one fun thing a day. I don't know if I do that. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. One thing where I'm going, okay, I'm going to sit here and watch an old show or read a magazine that I haven't read. Mm -hmm. You know, those yeah. kind of things we... All the things that we did before we had kids. Right. Or mm -hmm. living living in the moment. I was reading something the other day online that said, actually, if you're the type of person who wants the dishes to be done, it's okay. You can have that moment with your kid later. But I struggle with that and, and really living in the moment because I have a son who's about to graduate and yeah. it, I'm going to be a hot mess on June 1st just because of all those moments that won't be anymore. So I think that's a constant struggle. That's oh, a good I'll, point. I'll, as soon as I send this email, I'll be right there. Oh, I'm on you know in the middle of a contract or I'll take this call. So that's yeah. the type of 
Because yeah. they grow up so fast. My son yeah. is 20 now, and I still swear I look at him like he's three. That yeah. three little, three-year-old little boy. So it's that's important yeah. to, to be able to say. Absolutely. Do I spend the time with the kid, or do I do the dishes right mm -hmm. now and right. do all these chores? Or well, make the kid do the dishes. Right. Yeah, mine did it last night. And yeah. my mom sometimes is like, "Why don't you let your kids help more?" And I, and I always say to her, "It's more work sometimes yes. because yeah. you got to stay on them. Yeah. Then they never do it right, or they never complete it." But are you going to be so disabling them for the future? Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and those, I am. And they're going to be living at home forever. Yeah. <laughs> what about in terms of juggling all the different things that you do and prioritizing? What's the hardest part about juggling it all? I think it's trying to be everything for everybody. Like, mm -hmm. I just try it. It's like my, um, my oldest daughter asked me the other day because she was sick last week. And then she's like, You know how when I'm sick, you sit and you rub my head? Oh. Why don't you do that oh. now? And I'm like, Oh. Another reason I'm failing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Add that to the yeah. list. And right. you don't want to go because I don't like you as much. Yeah, you're bugging me. Right. I would say the hardest thing about juggling is just making sure that you get the priority of what's important that day. We can all go down that rabbit hole sometimes of something that's more fun for us to do, like we're yep. writing something for Facebook, because we were talking to Julie's a writer as well. And it's like you start writing and then you start reading and then you're down this trail that you're like, Second. how did I get here? You know? yes. So it's keeping that priority, keeping that focus. Really, really quick, quick answer. What makes you, what are you doing that makes you think you're a good mom? Great question. It was Molly's. <laughs> <laughs> it was Molly's question. <laughs> just my son's happy. He's happy. I mean, I think that my mother-in-law gave me the best compliment when she saw the cover. She goes, he exudes joy. Aww, that's nice. And that's, that's nice. the biggest thing. That's cute. That's really sweet. How about for you, Amy? We have a lot of fun family conversations. We talk all the time. Good. That's cute. Julie? Okay, so um, I didn't bribe my kids with McDonald's today, so that is, is a good thing. <laughs> I just said, I'm going to be on TV, so that's a good thing. But I'm actually trying to include them more and have yes. the onus on them rather than me barking at yep. them and having them I be part it. of the process when possible. Makes you feel like you're a good mom. Love yeah. it. it. All right, this is going to hit newsstand soon. The great cover. Way to go, Katrina. You look beautiful there. And well, hi, thanks Billy, to Amy. if you're watching. Yeah, you made her look good, Amy. MetroParentMagazine.com is where you can find it online. Great to see all of you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.